burning the pine incense, been moving the chair since ten, making it all in Just have whatever Sage wants to open. I don't know either. Um, how's the white? Sure. Great. I'll take these back. Maybe I should 
until she texts me back. I'm so sorry. I actually just had a similar thing happen a few weeks ago with the guy I was with. Oh, I liked Fred. Honestly, the lead up is 10 times worse than the breakup. Not that Lauren is gonna break up with you. No, no, I think she is actually. I'm so sorry you're going through that. It sucks. You know what, would one of you just mind taking my phone for me? Would, so, sorry, what do you want me to, what do you want me to do? Uh, just hold on to my phone for me, because I am just going crazy waiting for Lauren to text me back, but I really want to have a good night with you guys. We can do that. Thanks. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for being so weird about this. It's just... Avery, it's okay. I know it's been a crazy day. I'm just glad we could get together despite that. Thanks, Emmy. Yeah, I mean... We would have moments like this all the time if we got to hang out more. I know you're in pain right now, and I don't want that for you, but I'm also kind of glad we get to be with you while you're going through this. Like, I kind of miss being tangled up in each other's lives. That's so nice. And yeah, I, I feel better now that Sage has my phone. You know, let's just pretend we're having a normal night, and I'll forget about Lauren until Sage texts me, tells me that she's texted or something. Let's just move on. What were we talking about again? I don't even know. <laughs> Sasha, do you drink wine? I do. Oh my god, the kid drinks wine? H hold on, didn't you graduate last month? I sure did. I'm 21, I'm a college graduate, and I don't know. Is white okay? Can I see the bottle?
ASAP. You probably saw that. Well, what do you think about... It's not a question. She's gonna break up with me. Well, maybe she wants to talk about something else. There's many things she could want to talk no, about. No, believe me. I know. Are you going to go over there now? I mean, I only see you guys, like, once a year. I'll just tell her that'll come later tonight. Are you going to be okay having that loom over you all evening? No, but what am I supposed to do? Go over there, get broken up with, and then just come back and finish our girls' night? You could. We could come for you. One of us could even drive you there and back, if that would help, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. something good we had something good yeah anyone who wants to come with you're invited you can talk me through tell me all the things you think I never knew you can talk me through It'll be just like our happy ending I tried the off and on again In hopes you might resolve to bend In favor of that distant likelihood That we had something good We had something good Yeah Guys, 
I wanted to tell everyone we were all together, but James asked me to marry him last week. We're engaged. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I, j I just love him so much, and I've always wanted to spend my life with him. But it just crushes me to know that you guys might not be rooting for us. No, no, it's not the case at all. Sharing your life with this dude Emmy, we're happy for you Emmy, we're nothing but happy for you It's so strange and so new Emmy, we're happy for you So, remember when you blew us off because you had a date with James, like an ice cream date? You blew us off two times It's over. We can go now. How do you feel? Oddly calm. I don't know. I know I'll cry about it later. I just haven't processed it all the way yet. I'm so sorry. I just hate that I let this happen. You think it was your fault? Sasha! No, really. Because it looked at least from my perspective, like you were doing everything you could to hold on to her. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else I could have done. She was just so wonderful, you know? She was so caring and always listened so intently. She was just so full of love and grace. God, it's not her fault that things ended up this way. Avery? Yeah? I don't know, none of us knows you guys' situation, but I do know you, and you're one of the most thoughtful and intentional people I'll ever know. You don't just let important relationships like that expire. Yeah, and sometimes no one's to blame. Two people could have the best intentions and love each other, but it's just not meant to be. Yeah, I guess. I was so lucky to have met James when I did, incredibly lucky, but you guys remember how intensive my will to just love these men that just didn't love me back. I was heartbroken. Oh god, Evan? Oh my god, Evan. I wasn't even thinking about him. That douche! We didn't even date! But I just, I wanted him to date him so bad. Avery, I am so sorry. This has nothing to do with you and Lauren. No, because you were so jealous that I had English with Evan. <laughs> Even though I told you over and over that all he did was sleep in the back of the class the entire time. <laughs> oh my god, do you remember when you found out his favorite color was orange and you wore that awful orange jacket like every day? <laughs> I definitely never washed that thing. It smelled so bad. 
You guys, I remember I had this image of myself being this sad middle-aged woman just harping over her high school crushes. Half hour, but I have to leave 
at 9. Sage, is everything okay? I just hate having to do the mature thing for this job. I keep missing out on fun evening activities. Yeah, I bet. I don't know, I'm just not sure about some of the choices I've made sometimes. It's so complicated, but when did our lives get so complicated? Oh, I know exactly when. When? Do you remember the last sleepover before you all went off to college? We decided to lay in our backyard with all our heads meeting in the middle. <laughs> that was Avery's idea. It was a really sweet moment. It's scary though, all of us leaving home. Yeah, everyone except me. I had to wait around for another two years. I just remember how it hit me all at once that these relationships angering my life were about to change forever. And I wasn't ready for that.
so sorry we all had to leave you for two years. Yeah, it sucked. But it did give me a chance to figure out who I was outside of this weird dynamic we've got going on. Hey! <laughs> The kid has character! That she does. <laughs> Still though, I'm sorry. Thanks. You know, when we were kids playing pretend, we always dreamed about some of the big life moments, like getting married and getting a job. Falling deathly ill with scarlet fever. <laughs> you know, that is really weird that that was always one of our go-to <laughs> plot points, but the point I was trying to make is we spent so much time fantasizing about growing up, but I still don't feel at all prepared to see it happen. I think the hardest part is being away from each other. Like, I, I never thought I would be an outsider in you guys' lives. Like, as a kid, I assumed the people you would marry would be people I knew. And it's wild to me that I barely know James at all. But we'll get to know him, though. And I really want you to. I'd love to. Well, I should go. Be compassionate with yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I'll try. And congrats. Let me know when you set a date. <laughs> me too, please. <laughs> Sasha, are you leaving too? No, not necessarily. It depends on what Emmy's up for. I've got all night. Avery, do you want to stay? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really in the mood to be alone. I really wish I could stay longer, but text me if you want to meet up later in the week. I'm free like Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> yeah, for sure, I will, thanks. All right, enjoy your evening. Love you, babe. Love you too, babe. Where the sidewalk ends, I turn away, I close my eyes, I take a step. Where the sidewalk ends, I fear the worst, I hold my breath, I take a step. And when I take that step, Where the sidewalk ends. Where the sidewalk